a galaxy finds itself in the middle of a war between the Dwarven Empire and the Astral Elves. You're listening to Audio Dungeon Spelljammer, the Astral Crystal. You arrive at a place that looks like a planet that has been hollowed out in several areas. It's almost like, imagine a planet, make it a giant rock looking lifeless, and it looks like it's been mined in giant sized holes. That's where it is, baby. There's a lot of it down there, but it looks like someone's been looking for it. <laughs> Who'll be able to mine a planet? Yeah, is there a sign of anyone who's there? Do I see trucks or uh, mining equipment? Um, Ships? see nobody right now. Nobody. All right, then we'll just, I'll just keep flying closer. <sighs> so at this point, Captain can actually take over for you so you can rest and you kind of see everything else. He offers that to you. Thank you. Okay, so he uh, starts taking the ship and he just steers the ship and you guys are just going slow in. Some of the other crew are hanging around. Those tracks, they look like it's... a machine. We're too far out to be from civilization. Who would be out here? Who would have found it? You get, you get closer to the planet. And you come to the point where if you wanted to sail within, you can actually sail into one of those holes. Sail around it. The captain stops. Where do you wish to go? Betty. Uh, it's in, it's in, right? I'm, I'm sensing the veins, like, in there. Yeah, you believe somewhere inside. <clears throat> it's in there, baby. We gotta go down. And this is like a planet? Yeah. And it looks like, it doesn't look like, it looks like something bored this giant hole, like a thing. Right? One thing or many things? Who would have the ability to mine a planet this way? Could be the dwarves. Perhaps it's some cosmic being, a giant space creature. <laughs> or many space creatures. Well, mm-hmm. Uh... uh I say this. <laughs> we don't see anybody, but is there any way for you to... I turn this to the captain. <clears throat> In, do you know if anybody else is around? Can you... S- <laughs> How do I ask? Can you see people when we don't see them? The captain um, stops the ship. The guy's kind of going to glide for a little bit. <clears throat> I have no way of knowing. I've never been out this far before. I've, I've been directly to the, um, the prison at the Vortis, and I've done that trip several times. But I've never stopped in between. It's told to be dangerous. <laughs> that's it look safe. But that's where we gotta go. You don't see any other ships? <laughs> I don't see any ships around, no. Okay. Go inside. Okay. I'm more concerned about how we're going to mine what we need to bring back You guys head into the um, into the planet, and you start just f- following uh, his senses as a um, three green or your as a compass, and you travel for about forty something minutes, just making your way through another half an hour, all different turns. Literally, you come to a junction where you see like it junctions off maybe like twenty something times. Is all you just choose one at random, or you're you're following him, and. Finally, you come across a large, huge chain. This chain is probably about 30, 40 feet around. And it's linked to one of these, um, one of the sides of the rock. And just like loops down, hangs down, arcs down and goes up one of the holes. Chain looks old. Made of heavy iron. So the chain is like the size of the boat, is what you're saying? The, the chain is the chain is huge, yeah. That's the width of a link. <laughs> yeah. 
like the, the full length of the chain. Oh, the length of the chain? It goes on yeah. beyond, way Miles. beyond the boat. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like one link, it's like what she's saying. It's going on, it, it's one feet. of the holes, and you don't even see, you haven't even saw where gotcha, it Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But one link is like 30 to 40 feet, you're saying? Like one... It's wide, 30 feet, well, wide, 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 yeah. Right, the actual that's metal part of it. Yeah. That's the, the link. That's, that's the short part of the link. Yeah, right, right yeah. Oh, man. Um, is this like where I'm sensing... Yes, it, the chain leads to the same place that you get the feeling from. Continue. <clears throat> Keep going. As you're sailing through, you notice that there's times where the rock becomes smaller and smaller. It gets a little tighter. The captain manages to get the, get the vessel through. But your, one of your thoughts is if you, had a, if you were in a rush to get out of here, it would be kind of difficult. Make your way through it for about another hour. And finally, you come to a spot where you see there are smaller chains and multiple chains, but they start going across in front of you. Well, the wings are kind of high. You kind of get to a point where if you go any further with the ship, you're going to break into the chains. How many different chains are there? Twelve different chains. Jeez. These are much smaller than the, th the 30 ones, maybe like 10 feet wide. Now, the, cha the chains themselves, like, can we see the beginning of these, these and the ending of these? These chains are just kind of going across, the head, kind of partially blocking you or fully blocking you. You're not, sh you're not entirely sure of what these chains are doing, but these are in your way. And they're, and they're all, like, one side's connected to a rock and the other side's connected to a rock? Or is it... Yeah. You, okay, all right. uh, how far are we from where we need to be? You feel like that you're within a mile. But there's no way to walk it. I... I'm looking around. Is there like is there a bottom to this chamber? Or is it like just bottom? like you don't You're even... just you're just in tunnels within the planet. <laughs> Can we tell if there's any air source or um gravity source outside of our you think spell that jammer? You, you think that there is air outside. But the air doesn't seem great. It's breathable. But it's not great. This is a, so this is a planet with an atmosphere? Um, <clears throat> maybe. To some degree, there's something there. But this area is impassable now. Uh, it's not impassable. It's, it's, there's chains in the way. Can we, can we, can we shoot them? Manu yeah, can we maneuver the chains? You could, you could attempt to do any one of these things. Um, like, the is, is there slack on the chains? A little bit. What are the weapons on the ship? Uh, come you, out you, of the eyes? You have the the Maganel and you have the two Ballistae. Oh, that's interesting. It's all like projectile weaponry? Yeah, they're all they're all projectile. Okay. The Ballistae are just Ballistae. Yeah, nothing that would knock a chain down, really. No. Well, I mean, if we dislodge it from one side... Yeah, maybe. I could go out and walk down one of the tunnels for a while, so I don't have to breathe. Well, you can just stand on the front of the ship and just, like... <laughs> you don't breathe. Clip, clip. No, I do not. Uh, <laughs> we can't see any. Like, so... These tunnels could just be walked into, I guess. Some of them are horizontal. I imagine they go off in all different... It's all different directions. I get the sense uh, these tunnels could go on for many miles, though, before we are I find close. anything. We're only about a mile away. Really? Which way? I could try to just break through with the ship these chains. I just don't know what what their purpose is. Oh, man. <sighs> we haven't found the end of the big train, right? That's still... No, you're still following it. Do we know if the original crystal that he was supposed to get was mined here or if it was like found someplace else? You don't know that information. Okay. Are we able to detect if the chains are magical? Can anyone see that? How far are we from the chains? As far as you want to be. Okay. So I will cast Detect Magic on the chains. 
Okay, they're too far, so you're, you're gonna go right up to it, 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 very close to it. Okay, so you bring the you bring the, the head of the ship and <clears throat> right up to the chains. You cast, and there is magic coming from the chains. Ooh. Magical chains. Hmm. <laughs> can you uh, can you tell what kind of magic? Can I? It seems very old. I'm gonna use divine sense. Okay. And that would tell me if it's if it's either consecrated or desecrated space. Neither. Okay. It would also tell me if there is any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet. No. Okay. I want to cast <laughs> identify on the chains. <laughs> oh. Identify. Ah, identify. <laughs> ah. Identify. Yes, you'd have to leave the ship and go out there. I lean out the window. Yeah, you, you have to leave. You have to leave the ship and jump out to it. Okay. Can we land on a link? I'd like to get more information about these chains. I can't. I can't get any closer without damaging the ship. How close are we? You're probably within like twenty feet of it. <laughs> Can we like drop out of the ship onto the chains? Can you fly? Can you fly? There's a way. There's a way to. Um, you rested. I can, but the question is, do we want to use that? When you when you put the ship close to it, it's within your bubble, so it's it's like it's just being up in the air, and you have to get up to it. Mm. Park it, park it far away, and I'll just climb up the chains. But he needs to he cast has to it. touch it. We'll go together. You could put it. You could you could t- turn our ship upside down, change your gravity for a second, and maybe just like jump off and try to put it below you and grab the chain or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna give me a. We're gonna call a save. You're gonna give me a dexterity save of. This is a little tricky. I'm gonna say a 14. It's a save. Yeah, because if you miss it, you're gonna go right by it. Okay. Yeah. You have proficiency in dexterity. You're, tra- you're trying to, and obviously you're, you're going you're gonna to be jumping strong enough to push through the opposite of the gravity too. So right. Okay. Four, be- Fourteen. It is. <sighs> Twelve. Okay, so you go, you jump forward with the you know like a running jump to try to go through. You try to grab the chain. You miss it, and you just go f- flying down oh, the rest no. of the uh, no. I, uh, the tunnel. Like spinning. I cast uh, as quickly as I can. I cast uh, Starlight Step just to the top of the chain. Okay. So we're gonna roll one d100 for that. Wait, but now this is a little different, right? Yeah, well, you, you are. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he knows the location. He's he 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 to roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the, the, the numbers true. are different, right? You still do have to roll. Yeah. Yeah. You do, right? <laughs> Ninety-six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Be fine. Perfect. Okay, so you teleport to the chain. Everybody's like, and the ship's like, <gasps> you get back to the chain. You feel it. And then you cast Identify. You cast Identify, and immediately you get visions of dwarven, ancient dwarven siege engines that are gigantic, and they're carving um, through this planet. And you see them leaving the chains behind and actually exiting the chain out the back and attaching it to different places behind them. Uh, there's one giant one that is the biggest thing you've ever seen and it's the one leaving the heavy chains and it runs through the, through the whole planet so you get image 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 and it's over like the chains seem to be like connected to those siege engines do I get the impression that they're trying to tow the planet away you don't know <sighs> alright I'll try to jump back up into the bubble onto the ship. Or can I climb a chain? You, you probably have to, have, to, have to teleport. All right. <laughs> I tele- you, can he fall off the chain and just get into the gravity that's, again? That's what I'm asking. Uh, underneath it. You're not in the realm of the ship anymore, so it's a little bit different. Okay. Right. So I'll, I'll teleport then. Okay. I tell them what I saw. Okay. You share it. Everybody knows. <laughs> they want this planet for a reason. Yeah, it's got all in here. Yeah. The arcane crystals in it, that's why, right? Yeah. yeah Otherwise, it's just copied the rock. Crystals. But, you, but you said you saw in your vision that this was the ancient dwarves, right? Yes. These aren't the dwarves now. 
I got the impression that this was a job that was begun long ago. It could still be ongoing today. But if they were... I think the dwarves discovered a planet with astral crystals. And they've been mining this planet for a very, very long time. Cat, this is a... That would explain their significant advantage in battle. We've seen their ships. The ships are very powerful. They fire at twice rate everybody else. Their size is sometimes tremendous. Their weapons were glowing. Indeed. Would it be po- I'd speak to the captain. Would it be possible to find a ship large enough to attach these chains to and move this planet to wherever they want to move it? You're asking if they built a ship large enough to move the entire planet. I do not believe so. I cannot what? believe that is possible. I think we need to find the end of this tunnel and find the crystals. And maybe there we'll get some more answers. We could try to attack the chains and blow them apart. It might take a bit. It also would draw attention to us if there's anyone to sense us. The choice is yours. Do it. Okay, they start, inside. They start firing. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, they're firing... Natural 20, there you go. Maybe a few hits. Okay, so they fire for about a few, like two minutes. Just taking shots at it. They take all the chains down. Chains break. They kind of fall and like lie near the, um, the stone. We can now pass through. Continue. Go through and you travel on for another, um, another 20 minutes. Do the smaller chains reappear again, or or was it just like in this one section? Um, So you don't see them yet, or anything else. Finally, you come into a... What what appears to be, everything has been holes up to this point. And now, it's almost like it opens up where it gets very wide, like a crevasse. Okay? It starts getting very wide, it's like a sheet. And so so the, the ship... The ship's captain kind of takes the ship and puts it through so that your your head is with the upper part of the crevasse and the crevasse t- continues below you. So that's going through. As he's going, chains are again going across. But he also has plenty of, of, of vertical space to avoid them. He starts going, going through it and it starts getting wider and wider. But not too wide. Probably to the point where it's about, I would say, three, four hundred feet across. And you start seeing bridges, and the bridges are made of some sort of um, some sort of metal. It looks like in sections connected across, put there. And on the bridges, you see dwarves. They're making their way across this one and across another. And after a while, you see more bridges and more dwarves. And within minutes, you're definitely seen. You've been spotted. Whether they do something about that or not, or whether they care or not, you don't know. But quickly, there's thousands of dwarves here. And, oh, no, there's tens of thousands of dwarves here. This is a huge operation. You finally get to a point where there's not only bridges going to different spots, it's levels of bridges now just going up. The deeper you get in and the sense of view of getting to the core of it, it's just massive. And then you start seeing it. Deep inside is like the glow of like a vein of crystal. So this, so you see that vein of astral crystal just running through. You can tell that's astral crystal by the glow. It just you can you can sense it. You can feel the, the different energy of it, and it just makes its way down. And you see all these unusual machines of arcane energy running, and they're just like odd, like walkers that look like uh, some sort of like bug, just like pff, 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 walking and carrying supplies. They have all these unusual craft just going back and forth to ferry all this stuff around, apparently, um, and. You see a lot of them, some walk across the bridge, are carrying these large canisters. And that reminds you of what Loken told you. About the gnomish design, they have canisters to try to um, encapsulate it. What do you want to do? I don't think this is wise that we are here, sir. I think we stick out like a sore thumb. And you've been spotted already, for sure. Do I see any weapons down here? You talking about cannons and such? Yeah. You do see cannons. Where? 
There's cannons in different parts on the sides, just aiming to the middle. Not so many, but they're they're there. How many? I would say for every hundred feet, you might see one. And they don't look like the normal cannon either. They look like something different. They're much more, much more slender, much longer. Everything here is just foreign. Seems like it's some sort of old technology that can only be powered by the the astral crystal. Arcane energy can do amazing things in the form of gnomy tint, you know? You can, you can create these constructs. <laughs> uh, but this is a different beast altogether. That's clear to you. You wonder what Loken would say if he was here. I want to like look around and make sure there's like no other ships. Like, As of right now, you don't see any ships. You're looking look up, up and down. Look up, down, sideways. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything. Where's the where's the vein run off to? Um, it seems to just go through the like you're on this you're on the crevasse. It seems like you break into the sides and then the vein goes up and down. It's actually the closer you get, is even other spots where it is as well. But like that's the main part of it. Does this crevasse go all the way out? Like if we went if we were able to know. go straight up, you can't it, tell. But it goes on stars. Okay, it goes to the horizon right now. Your horizon is just like blackness and mist. Mm -hmm. Do I know? Can I can I tell what they're doing? Like, can I see how exactly they're you, collecting the crystal and putting it into casters? No, you can no? tell they're transporting things back and forth. It looks like a steady stream of work being done, but you don't know. You can't see the actual process. Okay. You have to get in there. Does there seem to be any panic when they see your ship? They see you, and if the expressions that you can make on the ones that you can see their face, it's almost like laughing, like... Whatever this is, they're done. And so, or some people, like you can see the expressions are or more like, I wonder who that is. Maybe they're important. We should leave. Leave? We're outnumbered here. 10,000 to one. Seems dangerous. All of a sudden, as you're, as you're gliding through, Captain is, uh oh, look. <laughs> and you see there's one dwarf, and he's like, uh oh. Oh my uh -oh. god. That's scary. <laughs> that scariest thing we saw all day. <laughs> Mom back. Thanks for listening. Check out more shows like this at theaudiodungeon.com.